What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we'll show you how to install the Mandarin emulator on Android, the ultimate Nintendo 3DS emulator for your smartphone. Imagine playing iconic titles like The Legend of Zelda, Kirby Triple Deluxe 3DS, Super Mario 3D Land, Pokemon XY, or Mario Kart 7. Today's video will guide you step by step through everything you need to know, including how to install the Mandarin emulator initial setup guide, how to install games on Mandarin best configurations and settings for a smooth gaming experience, installing GPU drivers for maximum performance, and finally, what the gameplay feels like on Android with these beloved games. After watching this video, your Android device will transform into a Nintendo 3DS, giving you access to a whole library of nostalgic titles. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell icon for future updates. Don't miss out. Mandarin isn't just another emulator, it's a turbocharged version of Citra featuring tweaks and optimizations for faster performance, even on mid-range devices. The best part? Mandarin offers a completely free server, meaning you can enjoy your favorite 3DS games without needing a high-end smartphone. The first step is downloading and installing the Mandarin emulator on your Android phone. Unfortunately, Mandarin is not available on the Google Play Store, but you can download it from their official website or GitHub. Once downloaded, install the APK file. The APK will install quickly. After installation, launch the emulator. You'll be greeted with a welcome screen. Just click on Get Started. Then, grant the necessary permissions such as notifications, microphone, and camera access. Next, you'll need to select a folder where the emulator will store its data files. Click on the Select button to open your phone's file manager. Create a new folder, name it something like 3DS Emulator and allow storage access. Now locate the folder where you've stored your Nintendo 3DS games. Create a folder named Games, select it, and grant access. Our primary setup is complete. Please click on Continue button. Before we are going to add game, let's configure settings. The emulator comes with default configurations, but we'll fine tune them for optimal performance. Go to the settings by tapping the three dots in the bottom right corner, then navigate to General. Enable Expand to Cutout Area. It will ensure maximum display. I recommend turning off the Limit Speed option to use maximum resources. Under System, you can set the region, language, and clock settings. While the emulator doesn't offer gamepad customization, that's okay for most games. In the Graphics settings, choose your API, OpenGL, or Vulkan. Enable Asynchronous Shader Compilation and adjust the internal resolution up to 4K if your device can handle it. You can also improve graphics quality with texture filters. In the debug section, you can modify additional settings for performance improvements, but be cautious. Tweaking these may cause crashes. If you run into issues, you can always reset the settings to default. If you're using a Snapdragon device, you can install custom GPU drivers for better performance. I've included a link in the description with downloads categorized by chipset. If you don't have a Snapdragon processor, this step isn't available to you. Using the install CIA file, you can install DLC or game patches. Now let's install games on the Citra emulator. You might be wondering where to find them. Be sure to check if your favorite games are compatible with the emulator by visiting Citra's GitLab page, which I've linked in the description. The emulator supports games in .3DS and .CIA formats. Please note that I won't be providing direct links to game files, as it violates YouTube's community guidelines. You must play the games that you have legally owned. Make sure to unzip the game files and move them to the games folder. Once that's done, go back to the main screen and your games will appear in the library. Just tap to launch any game. On the sidebar, you'll find options such as save states, overlay settings for FPS display, layout editing, and control adjustments. You can switch between portrait, landscape, and hybrid screen layouts, and even enable cheats. The gaming experience on Citra is phenomenal. You might even prefer it over playing on a physical Nintendo 3DS. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Take care.